One person in every 500 has Parkinson's. That works out as around 127,000 people across the UK. And around 5,000 of those are here in the South Today region. As you saw a moment ago, Lucy was in her late 30s when she was diagnosed. But Parkinson's is usually associated with older people. The symptoms tend to appear when people reach their 60s. But the latest figures show that one in 20 with the condition is under the age of 40. In terms of the symptoms, the main ones include body shakes, rigidity and slow movements. At the moment, doctors still haven't found a cure for Parkinson's, but there's a major research project underway at Oxford University, which could provide some answers. In 2010, the Oxford Parkinson's Disease Centre was given £5 million to carry out in-depth studies over a five-year period. Since then, they've analysed evidence from hundreds of people with early signs of Parkinson's. Researchers now believe MRI scans could be a vital tool in helping future diagnosis. MRI or brain scanning, which traditionally has not been of any use in telling if you've got Parkinson's or not, in our hands using a functional MRI sequence may predict Parkinson's. And for many people, it's not unusual that they're aware retrospectively they've had symptoms going back two to three years. And according to this research, spotting the signs quickly could eventually lead to speedier and better treatments, helping people manage the condition more effectively as it develops. Oxford has a fantastic strength in MRI imaging of the brain, and at our Parkinson's Centre, we've been able to plug into that expertise. The key in the future to being able to treat Parkinson's will be able to identify those who are likely to develop the disease, and before they develop severe symptoms, being able to stop the disease progressing. And that will require us to be able to identify those who are likely to suffer from Parkinson's, and then developing protective, preventative therapies to stop the disorder happening. Currently, Parkinson's is usually diagnosed through what's known as a DAT scan, costing around £1,000. It's also a lengthy process, taking around five hours. MRI scans, though, are much cheaper, around a fifth of the cost, and the scan process usually takes less than 10 minutes. New research is due to be revealed in the next few weeks.